Okay, so in this one, we have a big matching headings question. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then five, uh, true, false, not given. You can start with these if you want. It, 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 I think both of these are difficult question types, so the easy one first rule doesn't apply. But for this video, I really want to focus on matching headings, so I'm going to start with these. Now, if you've seen my YouTube video about matching headings, you might remember this um, document over here. We have this three-phase process. If you haven't watched the video, go and watch it. It should help you a lot. In the first phase, we're going to check the first sentences and see if we can knock out any easy ones. We're going to compare them one by one to the headings. This is a slow step, but you need to do it. So you can just slow down, go through each one of these headings and familiarize yourself with the heading. This will help you later when you come to phase two and three. Remember, there are eight questions in this particular reading, so you can spend quite a bit of time on this. You could spend about 15 minutes on these eight questions. So slow down at the beginning and really familiarize yourself with these headings. So let's start. It is difficult to conceive of vigorous economic growth without an efficient transport system. Quite a difficult uh, sentence. It's difficult to think about strong economic growth if you don't have efficient transport. Is there anything? So here I guess vigorous economic growth and efficient transport system are what's important. All they're saying is that if you want economic growth you need a good transport system. Fresh and important long-term goal. Now this is a boring step I know but this is important. You've got to go through them one by one. Charging. This is charging money no. Changes affecting the distances goods may be transported. Don't think so. All the steps necessary to change transport patterns. It's quite general. Environmental costs. No, not in our sentence. The escalating, increasing costs of rail. Not, no. Need to achieve rebalance. No. Private transport, rapid growth. No. Major road networks, restricting road use through these policies alone, and EU admission. So nothing there from the first sentence, but still important uh, for you to go through it slowly. I'm going to go through it a little bit faster now because I'm sure you've done this, so you're a bit more familiar with these. As far as goods transport is concerned, growth is due to a large extent to changes in the European economy, and its system of production. Um, one thing that's very important, IELTS loves transport as a subject and they often talk about passengers versus goods. So you need to know the, all the words for goods. There are three, I think. Goods, cargo and freight. They're all synonyms. Goods, cargo, C-A-R-G-O and freight, F-R-E-I-G-H-T. Know those synonyms because they're comparing passengers to cargo transport. So goods transport, something about growth, changes in European economy, system of production. No charging for roads, no changes. That's interesting because there's goods, that's cargo. So we'll come back to that. All steps necessary, environmental, escalating cost of rail, maybe. Transport rebalance, private, major road networks, charging policies, countries awaiting EU admission. They mention EU over there, but I don't think this is anything about countries awaiting EU admission. Anyway, so the only one that's really caught my attention there was that because they mentioned goods, they mentioned cargo. Now, you can, if you want, go straight into phase two and phase three. If you feel good about something, read a little bit more. You don't have to come back to it later or skip it. So you could read a little bit more and see if you can confirm that that one is number three. But let's move on. I'd, I want to try and find some easy ones. Strong economic growth expected in countries which are candidates for entry to the EU will increase transport flows in particular road. 
The strong economic growth expected in countries which are candidates for entry to the EU. Now at this stage I'm already a little bit familiar with these and I remember countries awaiting EU admission. That was the only EU thing. Transport trends in countries awaiting EU admission. That I kind of like because that's countries for candidates which are candidates for entry to the EU. And then what do we need? We need transport trends. If this paragraph is about transport trends, so I'll skip straight to phase two here. And here they're saying in 1998, there's a whole lot of 1990 volumes, and they're describing some trends. They're saying this increased by this, this decreased by this over these time periods. So they are describing trends. So mainly because of this, this phrase, I was interested in that and then I looked and I did I, I looked for transport trends and I liked that so I will continue I will choose that one C is X I uh, 11 uh, one thing I forgot you must 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 start and see paragraph F answer 7 so you must delete 7 I should have done that and then I'm going to and then I'm going to delete 11 as well because I'm pretty confident about that one it's the only one that mentions EU admission. Okay. However, a new imperative. This however, and please notice the howevers, they always, or not always, but very, very often introduce uh, important information. A new imperative. Sustainable development offers an opportunity for adapting this policy. Fresh and important long-term goal. That's quite interesting. A new imperative. That's fresh. Imperative is an important goal. So that's quite interesting. Charging for roads, no. Distances, no. All steps necessary. Environmental, rail. Rapid growth of private, major road networks, road use. So I don't know if it's enough, but I'm going to keep that in mind. They do mention a fresh and new imperative. Let's go on. Energy consumption. In the transport sector, 28% of emissions of CO2. All right, so now immediately I see this, emissions of CO2, and I'm thinking environment. Let's move on. In 1998, energy consumption in the transport sector was to blame for 28% of emissions of CO2, the leading greenhouse gas. Okay, I see this kind of language, emissions, CO2, greenhouse gas, and immediately I'm thinking environment. Those are all environment words. Let's check CO2 emissions, billion tons, CO2 emissions, ecological. This is an environment paragraph. I can see that quite quickly just from the first sentence. And I remember there was an environment thing heading somewhere here. Can you see it? And it's over there. Let's just make sure environmental costs road transport. Let's just make sure. CO2 emissions, they don't mean costs in terms of money, they mean costs in terms of carbon. And there again, road transport is the main culprit. So they're talking about road transport, so I'm happy about that one. That's our environment paragraph. So that was paragraph E, environmental costs, number five. At the same time, remember we're not looking at F, we've got F. The first approach, this is very interesting language, first approach would consist of focusing on road transport solely through pricing. Solely, it's a good word to know, sole uh, means only or alone. Solely means only. Good vocabulary. But this made me very interested and I just quickly look over here and I see, aha, there's the second approach and there's the third approach. Now this makes me very interested because we've got a group of three things here and often you can find the three headings all together. So the first approach would consist of focusing on road transport only through pricing. The second approach, approach also concentrates on road transport but is accompanied by measures to increase the efficiency of the other modes. The third approach, not new, a series of measures ranging from pricing to other modes of transport targeting investment. Again, first approach, only pricing. Second approach, pricing, but 
also other methods to increase efficiency. Third approach, a series of measures. Right, let's see if we can find any of those. No, charging for roads and improving other transport methods. Good. Pricing, charging, that's the synonyms. Learn all of your money vocabulary, there's a lot. Make a special list for money vocabulary. Charging, pricing. So that reminds me of the second approach. Changes, distances, no. All the steps necessary, uh, maybe. Escalating cost, no. Rapid growth, private, no. Plans to develop, no. And through charging policies alone. So that reminds me of solely. Restricting road use through charging policies alone. Focusing on road transport solely alone through pricing, charging policies. And then I remember the second one, charging, pricing, but also other methods. And those two go together. Restricting road use through charging alone, charging, and in, in addition, other methods. So this linking language really uh, made me pay attention. First approach, second approach, third approach. So G and H I can knock off just from the first sentences. G is 10 and H is 2. And then I can delete those. Right, so that's phase one finished. We got quite a lot there just from checking the first sentences. Went slowly, looked at them carefully. Now you can speed up a little bit. We want to go into phase two. We're looking at the actual paragraph, the linking and structural language. That actually helped us in the first one because of uh, first approach, second approach, third approach. Positive or negative feeling. Maybe tenses tell us things that you can recognize which are repeated. For example, in the environmental paragraph, they repeated CO2 emissions, CO2 emissions a lot. Numbers or dates sometimes can help us. I'm usually quite suspicious of the first paragraph. It's very often a more difficult paragraph. But we're looking for linking language. We're looking for things that are repeated. And we're looking for positive or negative. Can you see? It's not really positive or negative. It's just giving facts. But can you see linking language? And can you see anything that is repeated? Pause the video and see anything that's repeated or linking language. This is linking language, very important linking language, two key factors. Remember, whenever they mention five factors, four reasons, three this, two that, highlight it, they like it. This one is a little bit more difficult because what are the two key factors? You need to find them and they're actually spread it over two paragraphs. That's why this is a bit difficult. The first factor is for passenger transport. The second factor is for goods transport. But anyway, do you see anything that's repeated? That's actually more important for this paragraph. Any re repetition. And it's this word over here. We see that being repeated a lot. There's growth. Requirement is on the increase. This trend is... um. Reference pronouns, they often talk about important information that came before. Spectacular growth again. Increase again. Increase again. So they, this whole paragraph is about growth and increase. So the repetition, this one over here, this is what really helped you with this paragraph. Repetition for matching headings. I've seen it so many times. Can you see anything about growth or increase? There's escalating cost of rail, that's growth. And this is rapid growth of private transport. So the private transport was for passenger, passenger transport. So this two key factors showed us, to, pointed us to important information. So this whole paragraph is about the growth of passenger transport. So again, it's the, the linking language and the repetition that helped us. Right, paragraph B. Now, as far as cargo, as far as goods, there's something about the EU, and you actually need to read a little bit more, but I don't see linking language. I don't see 
repetition there's nothing that really jumps out at me so i'll skip it what's next we need paragraph d a new imperative sustainable development this objective very often when in sentence two when they use a reference pronoun this and they're talking about something in sentence one that thing is important it means in the first two sentences they've mentioned it twice what is this objective? This objective is this new imperative. And again, the ambitious objective. So this paragraph is all about this objective. What is this objective? This objective is this new imperative called sustainable development. And it's this, a fresh and long-term goal. There's nothing about changes, distances, nothing about steps, change transport patterns, Rail, no. Major road networks, no. But we did have this new important objective. Okay, maybe a slightly more difficult one, but I'm going to put it in nonetheless. I think there's enough there for us to believe it. Then the last paragraph was this third approach. So let's just remind ourselves the first approach was only road transport through, I mean, only through pricing. Second one was through pricing but other methods the third approach is a series of measures ranging from pricing to this to that so a whole lot of th of measures fresh and important we can delete affecting the distance no all the steps necessary a series of measures rail transport no major road net networks no okay it's starting to get a little bit more difficult but this is the only one that really jumps out. All the steps necessary, a series of, meth of methods. So that is number four. So you can see, so you can see these last three went together. Charging for roads, taking all the steps necessary, restricting through this. Um, actually, they used the gerund to introduce all three of them, an ING word to introduce all three of them. So the linking language helped us there. And then it's time to just uh, check your time. Maybe you guess if you've got some time you can read. Um, we need to go to paragraph B and we actually need to read that whole paragraph, read that for detail. Uh, so if you read it for detail, I don't want to read the whole thing now, you can read it. and we see this phenomenon. What is this phenomenon? Stock economy to flow economy, relocation of some industries to reduce production costs, hundreds or thousands of kilometers away from the final or away from users. So it means because of this phenomenon, the factories had to move far away from wherever and that's affecting the distances. So there was quite a bit about distances goods was goods must be transported over there um, hundreds or thousands of kilometers away relocation it's about distance only mentioned it once so this was the most difficult one but it's not rail and it's not major road networks so you could kind of get it by elimination and that's three and there you go following the three phase process trying to do the first easy ones first from the first sentences seeing if anything jumps out at us from these things and then tackling the difficult ones in detail you should be able to improve your matching heading score right let's move on to the yes no not given all right let's quickly do these one of the advantages of doing matching headings first is that we will be quite familiar now with where everything is sometimes some questions help with other questions. The need for transport is growing. We remember that word. Despite technological developments, CO2 emissions, that's our environment paragraph. EU countries, we know where that was. So we pretty much know where everything is here. What's our uh, target language in this? The need for transport is growing. I would say it's that. Is it growing or is it not growing? Be careful of this. This could be target language. It could be despite something else. But I think I'm going to focus on that. Let's take a look. Despite technological in developments. Despite is a very good word to know 
So we know that it's growing. Is there anything about technological developments? And here we are over here, right there, beautiful. Where's the despite? There, contrast marker, despite, however, but all of those contrast markers. Although the technology can reduce the demand, can help, the need, the requirement is growing. So it's right there. They've switched it around a bit. They've taken this. The need is growing. Put it first, despite technological developments. Exactly the same sentence, just written in a different way. So that's true. To reduce production costs, some industries have been moved closer to their relevant consumers. I think that's the target language. Have they been moved closer? Have they been moved further away? This is hardly ever target language. This is just the introduction to the sentence. That sort of thing as well. It's not going to be target language. This is the target language over here. Have they been moved closer? I remember we had a heading about that. What was it? Oh, it was this one, which I didn't delete. The distances. To reduce production costs. Uh, relocation of some industries, even though it's hundreds of thousands of kilometers away. So they've actually been moved further away. They haven't been moved closer. They've been moved hundreds or thousands of kilometers away. So the target language is false. It's not closer, it's further. False. Cars are prohibitively, don't worry, don't get confused. It just means very, very, very expensive in some EU candidate countries. No real clear target language may be expensive. So we know we're here. Countries which are candidates for entry. How expensive are the cars? I don't see anything about how expensive the cars are. This is not about, there's EU there, maybe you can look a bit, but I know that the next one has got this. 25 is that paragraph. So we're looking at this paragraph over here. Nothing about price, nothing about prohibitively expensive. Target language, not there, not given. Gothenburg was set up 30 years ago. So I would guess that this is the target language. When was it set up? How long ago? There is there. When was it set up? When was it set up? Doesn't say. I think maybe they're trying to confuse us a little bit. In 30 years time in the future, that's 30 years, but we don't know when this council was set up, when it was started. Another not given. And CO2 emissions are predicted to reach seven. I think this will be the target language. By the end of this decade, these emissions will reach what? It's not going to be not given. There's 2020, the end of the decade. Emissions can be expected to increase to that by 2020. Compared with, and there's that number in 1999, 1990. So it's false. They're not expected to reach 739 billion. They're expected to reach, there's our expected to increase by 50% to that. So that means that that is false. Great. So these weren't too bad, especially because we did the matching headings first. We knew where everything was. It's a good advantage of doing matching headings first. Okay. And on to reading three.